America's youth has gone wild more than ever. You talk about the hour that changes everything. We're leading up to that hour, and we're watching Matthew 24 play out, yet God is bringing ministries like ours to be his hands extended in this hour, and that's where you come in. That's Richard where you Pearson's stand. back with us today. Uh, Richard, I wanted to ask you what Mondo is saying. Can you add anything to that in your own thought? Because it sounds like your book, that these kids going crazy. They're, they're having to have, the people I know down in Miami, they've had to put a curfew on, on the town. Yeah. And they don't want to do that, but they had to because they're just tearing things up. Uh, Jim, I think this is what, what is happening in the end times when man forsakes God. This is what happens. When, when you don't stay under covenant rule of God's word, anything is possible. And it says in, in uh, James 4, it says, From whence come wars and fightings among you? Come they not hence, even of your lusts that war in your members? You lust and have not, you kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. You fight and war and you have not because you ask not and you receive not because you ask amiss that you may consume it upon your lusts. So we, we have a spirit realm right now that is, is being manifest through flesh and blood, and the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And this is what we're watching. This is part of the global darkness that's coming on the planet, and it's here in America. The enemies, uh, the enemies are not coming to America. The enemies are here. And so we're seeing it all around, and this is, this is the beginning of sorrows, or the tribulation, as uh, Jesus said in Matthew 24. This is the beginning. This is when God hands the planet over to darkness because they've rejected him. I've wondered what in the world is going on with <clears throat> America turning so far to the left, going, going extreme like never before. And, and I knew there had to be more scripture about this. So we have been discussing the war in Ukraine for the last month, as well as Matthew 24. Are you familiar with Matthew 24? Yes, yes I am. I, I'm a one string fiddle when it comes to <laughs> Matthew 24. I stay there a lot. Uh, do you think this has anything to do with America's role in Bible prophecy? And, yes. And Matthew 24 is just about exploding on it. Well, many of us teach, and I, and I believe you would agree with this, mm -hmm. that America is a covenant nation. Yes. America was raised up by God, and she was placed here for a reason. Since World War II, America has placed her military around the world, and she has been a policeman of the world. Yeah. She was in covenant. That was her purpose, to hold evil down. But we're seeing evil rise up now, but there's no fear of America. And that's because America is in a position where we're no longer in covenant with God. We that's have broken it. our that's covenant. That's it. Yeah. Yes, we that's have broken the, our covenant. That's a piece of this puzzle yeah. that everybody out there is saying, what has gone wrong? What is happening? Yeah. We have broken covenant with God. 